A warm welcome to my channel. My name is Symphonido Okon. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to score an A in all your courses in the university. These strategies I'm going to share with you in this video are applicable to students studying any course in any university, whether in Nigeria, Australia, the UK, or any country at all. And it's applicable to students studying any course, any discipline, engineering, law, medicine, any course at all in the university, these strategies are applicable to all of them. Now, these are the same strategies I used that helped me to graduate with a first class degree in 2012. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, stick around and watch this video to the end. If Today is your first day on this channel. Do well to subscribe and do well to turn the bell notification so that anytime I release a wonderful video of this nature, you will be the first to know. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 tips, 10 things that you're gonna do as a student to be able to score an A in all your courses in the university. Number one, determine that you're gonna score an A in all your courses and you will. Determination, they say, is a key to success. So, if you are determined to score an A in all your courses, obviously you're going to put in all your effort and energy to achieve it. Number two, prepare early. Get all the course outline, get all the reading materials at the beginning of the semester or before you go on vacation in the previous semester make sure you get all these materials all the course outline that's what you want to do number three start reading materials as they relate to the topic that you have found okay start getting materials read them while you're on holiday you can look for youtube videos in those um, areas or topics that you found in the course outline start reading them start preparing for them start researching materials to read on the topic that you found number four attend all lectures you don't want to miss any lectures at all what the lecturer teaches you in the class is very very important it's very very vital and some of these things might come out in your exam so you don't want to miss your lectures for anything so make sure you attend all the lectures number five have a study group or you want to read alone no problem but make sure that as you're reading, you're setting questions for yourself, both test and exam questions, and you're practicing those questions to be able to answer them. You can even do as if you're writing exams, okay? The exam that you set for yourself, the test that you set for yourself. Number six, get practice questions. Get previous question papers as it relates to the course that you want to score an A, okay? Get those questions, practice them, answer them on your own okay because most lecturers they tend to repeat these questions over and over again so you want to get all of question papers from previous students read them study them because they might be repetition of the questions so that when you see such in exams you'll be able to answer such questions number seven don't keep bad companies or friends who don't want to study ever heard of this saying Show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. So your friend or your friends or the company you keep might determine or might influence your grade. So you want to keep the right company. You want to be among those who are studying. You want to be among those who are challenging themselves. You want to be among those who want to get an A and eventually you're going to get an A as well. Number eight, don't ever miss your tests or exams. And don't go to the exam hall late. Some students are fond of going to exams hall or test hall late. So when you get to the exams hall late, maybe one hour or 30 minutes after they have started the exams, you will not be able to perform very well because you'll be in a hurry to answer all those questions. And so your performance will be very poor. So with this, you won't be able to get an A in that course. Number nine, make sure you read the instructions on your question paper so that you don't make mistakes while answering the question some questions might be you have six questions you want to answer four of them and number one is compulsory so if you don't see that part that number one is compulsory you may go ahead answering four questions excluding number one and that could lead to a low performance that could 
lead to you not having the required marks because you did not answer the compulsory question. So you want to make sure that when you enter the exams hall, you read the instructions on the booklet. After reading the instructions on the booklet, you want to write your name and registration number. Some students, they get the booklet and then the first thing they do is to rush and answer the questions. No, read the instructions first. Make sure you write your name and your registration number so that you're, you don't get your script missing. So if you don't do this and mistakenly forget to write your name or registration number on the, um, the answer booklet, and even if you have 70 over 70, if you did not write your name, of course, that script doesn't belong to you. They will not know who to assign that max to. So you want to read instructions, write your name and registration number so that you don't get your booklet missing. Number 10, do not spend time to answer one question for a very long time. Let's say you have four questions to answer and then you use two hours to answer one question and you had maybe three hours for the exams. By the time you spend two hours answering one question, you realize that you will have limited time to answer the remaining three questions and so your performance will be low. So what you want to do is you want to answer all the questions. You want to attempt all the questions. It could be these questions are from different lecturers. So you want to attempt those questions, all the questions. Don't put your energy in answering only one question for a very long time when you've not attempted all other questions. So you want to make sure that you attempt all other questions. So let's say in exams, you are to answer four questions in all and the time was two hours. You want to ensure that after 30 minutes, you are done with one question. The next 30 minutes, you are done with the second question. And then that means you have 30 minutes to answer one question. So by the time you use one hour to answer one question, you realize you're going to get only one hour to answer three questions. So you don't want to do that. You want to attempt all the questions and make sure you assign time to each of the questions. Mind you, all you need to be able to score an A in all your courses is to make sure you have 70. So 70 is a, the point required to get an A, that grade A. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have at least 70. You don't want to have, there is absolutely no point having a 90 or 85 in one course and the next course you have 50. Okay, so you want to balance up. You want to make sure that all your courses, you have an A grade, which is 70. You want to make sure that all your courses, you have an A instead of having 90 in one and having 50 in the other one. So you want to make sure that you have a 70 which is an a so i believe you found this video interesting if you do do well to like share and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any video of this nature thank you very much for watching see you in my next video